Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to use each to map over items in a list. The last challenge showed how the for directive uses a starting and ending value to loop a certain number of times. SAS also offers the each directive which loops over each item in a list or map. On each iteration the variable gets assigned to the current value from the list or map. So each color in blue, red, and green. So I guess they're saying for each time that we have the color blue, red, and green, we're going to assign a class of uh, blue text, red text, and green text, because we're going to iterate through blue, red, green. And so this is going to come to blue, this is going to come to red, and this is going to come to green as we iterate through, and then we're going to assign the color to the same color. So. A map has slightly different syntax. Here's an example. So here's each, and then here, I guess we're doing map. Here's an example. Note that the at key variable is needed to reference the keys in the map. Otherwise, the, comp otherwise the compiled CSS would have color one, color two. Okay. So what it's saying is we need to use the key here. This is a key value pairs, key value, key value, key value. And so we, we want to access the key, which is, uh, well, in, in this example, it's color one, color two, and color three, but I guess we might want to access the key as well. Um, so otherwise the compiled CSS would have color one, color two in it. Both of the both of the above code examples are converted into the following CSS. So here we'd have blue text, red text, and green text. Uh, class selectors with the corresponding color in there uh, the way that they need to be. So we want to write an each directive <clears throat> that goes through a list of blue, black, and red. Okay, so um, at each, and then we want to have uh, colors blue, red, black, and red. Goes through a list of blue, black, and red. Um, yeah, so we should have actually colors. I think we want to do it the same way they're doing it here, colors. And then we're going to make um, blue, uh, black, and red. Now this is not correct yet. So I'm just kind of talking, putting it in there as we go. Each directive that goes through a list of blue, black, and red and assigns each variable to a color background class where color part changes for each item. Where color part, so this would be like blue background, black background, red background. Each class should set the background color of the respective color. So, yeah, here what we were doing is each uh, key color in colors. Okay, so each, and um, we want to say... Well, let's go one, two, uh, uh, three. I'm going to expand this just so it's easier to read. Um, so at each, um, so we can say, um, instead of saying key, we want to say value. We want to say uh, color. So we're just going to assign a color in colors. And then in here, we're going to assign, here we've got blue background, black background, red background. So we want to say dot. Now we're, so this is the class selector, and then we're doing string interpolation. So we're going to say in here, and what are we going to do? We're going to assign the hashtag or the bling color. And then we want it to say color dash background. Um, and then with each color background, we want to set the background color. to be equal to the color. Background color equal to the color. And there we go, we did it. The blue background color is set to blue, black background color, and red black background color. And we've done that with just uh, one, two, three, four lines of code and an and a empty line. Um, I think this is going to pass the test. So yeah, once again, what's what's happening here? What we're doing is we're setting a list of, I mean, it looks to me like a key value pairs, right? A list of key value pairs. And then we're saying on each of these, we're going to take the value. This is a key value. Um, one thing that you might be making a mistake or something like that is if you made this the key uh, in colors, then you're going to get a very different uh, situation. You're going to have, I guess, one, two, and three would be 
uh, where they're set. Huh, it's not really going through that way. Maybe that doesn't really matter. The value, but what happens if we made a key? It should refresh the page. Maybe that's not causing the thing to refresh. Hmm. It seems like key, keys works just as well. Um, I guess one thing, you know, I don't think that it matters what the values are here. If this, we have it say one, we could say color one here. Um, maybe color two here and three because these what you what you name the keys doesn't matter because you were actually just using the value it's weird to me that that works huh maybe it's some sort of a thing um so yeah i'm not a super expert on this scss stuff I've, i actually don't use it in production much so i'm just kind of blasting through these um but yeah hope you guys found this useful i think that you know you kind of get the idea for how this works i think one main thing to watch out for is this is colors is a plural and then we have color on the inside which is singular and that so in here we're using color whereas we're going in the colors uh, mixin variable or whatever it is and so then we set the background color equal to the singular as well so we're saying with each of these things inside of this group of colors we should do this um so yeah anyways hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next lesson